Joe Biden, as we speak, is on Israeli soil. One of this, one of the aims of this bold visit, as it is being called, is to try and seal a humanitarian deal. Are you hopeful that will happen in the next 24 hours? Our Prime Minister's office just announced after a meeting of our cabinet joined by Mr. Mr. Biden that we are allowing, again, we are allowing the Egyptians to let humanitarian aid into the southern part of, of uh, Gaza. We are opening, we are opening the lines for the southern part of Gaza. There will be water, there will be medical aid. The north part, we have declared this already last Friday. The northern part of Gaza is dangerous for civilians, and we call them to move south. We have to stop what Hamas is doing, and that is using their own civilians as human shields. They are shooting from hospitals, they are storing weapons in, in schools, and even a couple of days ago, they stole 24,000 gallons of uh, oil, of petrol, from the UN camp in the southern part of the Gaza Strip that was to aid the civilians coming from the north. The Hamas terrorists are war criminals. Not only do they aim rockets into Israeli uh, civilians, they are now doing it against their own, their own people. Stop forgetting Hamas is ISIS. They do the same thing. There is no reason for civilians to be in a war zone. And every time that they are staying there, they are endangering themselves. And Hamas should let them go south where it is safe and there is running water. Israel mm -hmm. never targets civilians. You've forgotten what happened only less than two weeks ago when the Hamas terrorists came into our land and killed babies in their beds. We don't do that. We do not do that. We only aim at the Hamas terrorists. We are not beheading babies. We are not burning bodies alive. We are not raping women. We are not kidnapping the elderly. What's going on here? What kind of a show are you handling that you're giving a legitimacy to these false claims? Of course there is proof. We have given footage. We have given recordings. And I call upon anybody independent who would like to investigate to go ahead and do it. But it, you have to be objective. You can't okay. continue with this Palestinian propaganda, this falsehood. Are you on the good side or on the, on the bad side? Are you on the the side of the light or of the darkness, of good or evil. Decide where you sit okay. and where you stand. And I can okay. see the colors that you are wearing, that you are wearing this okay. evening. And that's why I am purposely wearing blue and white. Because with all due respect to the green, the red and the black that you have purposely put on this evening, blue and white will always prevail. Uh, let's not divide colors on the basis of religion. It sometimes happens in my country as well. Let's not do that. Hiba Hosseini, I'll, I'll give you the last word. There are many commentators who have said that the Palestinian cause was murdered on October 7th. Is that an assessment slash sentiment that you share as well? No, I do not share that sentiment. The Palestinian cause has been ongoing since 75 years with the refugee problem with the Nakba in 1948. It's still ongoing and it will continue to go on. Israel will not have security unless we resolve the conflict, unless we have our own independent state. Uh, and unless we end this misery, this ma these massacres cannot go on, this propaganda cannot go on. Uh, and, and this state of conflict cannot go on. Israel is an occupier, is an oppressor. It has all of these policies that has been that have been implemented day in, day out in the West Bank. There are killings every day in East Jerusalem. There are killings every day. There are arrests. We have thousands of prisoners in jail who have been detained without trial. Israel is committing war crimes. Israel has engaged in a war without okay. uh, any kind of any uh, any remorse. Is the propaganda the finished or can we talk about murder facts? Of Palestinians? Can we talk about facts? Okay. Or are we going to continue okay, about so, the you know, lies? Both sides, 
You don't both, have prisoners in jail. Both, both, both sides... Frederick, both sides have accused each other of propaganda. I wanted to hear from both of you, which I've done. Also to tell you, Frederick, the garment I'm wearing is a sari, and it's my grandmother's. If she was alive, she would have been about 105 years old today. Uh, she didn't know what the Israel-Hamas conflict was, and the sari in no way signifies any support for any side. What is happening, what has happened in Gaza, the bombing of the hospital, five people dead, is simply criminal. What I'm wearing right now is simply my grandmother's sari. It signifies nothing else. Beautiful. We'll leave it save there for it, the save moment. It for Thank you very much. Frederick? Save it for a different occasion. Frederick? No, Frederick. I will not let you choose what I wear, and I will not let you choose what I say. I will say what I have to say, and I will speak the truth the way I see it. Truth, of course, has many versions. There is one version coming from Israel, and there's another version coming from Gaza. We've put both out. That is our journalistic duty, Frederick.